All right, James, I'll let them in now, mate, okay? Good evening, everyone. Thanks for your patience with this. It's much appreciated. We've got James with us now, so I'll just let everyone connect because the connections look like they're still coming through for a few of you, but um, we'll, we'll play it the same way. If you just want to... Um, uh, just let me know in the chat that you want to ask a question and we'll go from there. Simon, I don't know whether you wanted to kick us off from the local angle. Just on mute at the moment. And uh, Vincey, you're on mute as well, mate. Okay. James, how are you? Good, thank you. Good stuff. James, can I take you back to late June? After nine games of the T20 qualifying group, you were bottom of the table with one win. Did, did, did you ever think at that time you'd be sat here at final day press conference? Uh, probably not at that stage, no. Um, yeah, we got off to a, a tough start and we, I think we had three washouts in the first nine games as well. So it never really got going until that. I can't remember which game it was, but uh, um, one of those, the first of the last five on that when we got on that run. Um, it was only really the last of the, well, the last group game where we, you know, really thought we had a chance. We just managed to get on a roll. And as you know, in this format, you just, find a way of winning and, and we just kept going with it. And yeah, I think even after we won our last game, we still needed one result to go our way, which we watched that evening and obviously went our way. So um, yeah, no, I didn't expect it back then, that's for sure. Exactly. When, when you look back at it then, I mean, was there kind of a defining moment where kind of things just seemed to kind of click and you just started kind of, as you say, getting on a roll? No, I think it probably took a couple of games to get the belief in the group. Um, you know, when you're in a bit of a rut and finding ways of not winning, it can be quite tough. There's a few games there where we were well ahead in games and then managed to to lose them from winning positions. And then all of a sudden that just turned around and we were finding ways to win when perhaps we shouldn't. Um, and then, yeah, once once we've got a couple, the belief grows in the group. We've got some young players in there. So, you know, once they got belief, in their own own ability and get that used to that sort of winning feeling, then yeah, it does become a, a bit of a habit and you do get in a role. And that kind of Glamorgan game was quite incredible, really, when you look back on it, wasn't it? Yeah, I've won 70 odd in 13 overs or something. One of those where when the situation's like that and you just know exactly what you got to do, probably most times we'd get bowled out for 80, but it's it does make it nice and clear. And um, yeah, we just a few of us managed to come off, and um, yeah, once I think once we won that, as I say, it's still one game to go. But um, that was a that was a good day. That was a good feeling after that win. Exactly. I mean, I suppose the story of Hampshire's season really is, it, it, of course, all competitions. Is you can never you can never be written off, can you? No, exactly. And I think that's in on a finals day. That's probably one of the most important things. Um, you know, often games get close and not always as high scoring as sort of group games with the added pressure. And there's normally, I think the weather's okay tomorrow, but normally a bit of rain and the wicket turns a bit and stuff. So um, now that, what's been getting us over the line should hopefully stand us in good stead tomorrow. Is the squad the same as for the Notts quarterfinal, James? Um, apart from we're without Darcy Short, who had to go back to Australia. And Conde Grandham's not, not available either. No, he's just with New Zealand. Who um, does anybody come into the squad then that played at Trent Bridge? Um, Toby Albert was in the squad. He's um, he's probably in line to, I think it'll be his debut if he plays tomorrow, but. Um, yeah, but he's probably the only one that hasn't played, I think. Okay. Well, obviously, you're, you're an old hand now at these finals days. This is your eighth, isn't it? Is it? I'm not sure. A few. Yeah. I don't know exactly, but um, we haven't been here for a few years, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. I think uh, we had a spell where we made six or seven on the bounce, I think. So, um, yeah, it's a, it's a good day. It's good, fu good fun. Um, a day you don't want to miss. It's, it's nice to be back here and... Um, before we know it, we'll be back here in the morning and, and underway. Obviously, the two wins obviously stand out for you, James. I mean, can, can you remember much about the first one against Somerset 11 years ago now? Um, 2010? 
Yeah. Yeah. Um, that was actually at, at the Aegea spell. Um, when I think was it we I think we tied the game and they just had Dan Christian had a runner and they just had to take the bails off to win the game. And there was that moment where we were running on the pitch, but nothing was really happening. And then the umpires gave them a chance and they, they didn't do it. And then we were declared winners. So um it was yeah. No, they, I was young. I was sort of just coming through. I was one of the young guys back then that you just enjoy those moments. Um, still look back on them now. You know, winning trophies is what it's all about. Um, so, yeah, as I say, hopefully tomorrow we can, for, for some of the young guys, have an experience like we had in 2010 and for some of us older ones, um, yeah, hopefully another trophy. Thanks, um, Matt. Can I just go on to you? Sorry, Simon, we're just no, really no. on time because of uh, the delay. So, Matt, if you could jump in now if you want. Uh, yeah, please, just a couple if I can, James. Um, I, I think this is your sixth of those eight uh, at Edge Baston, and obviously the last five haven't, haven't necessarily gone to plan. Are you guys doing anything sort of superstitiously different this time, staying in a new hotel or something like that? We are in a different hotel. I don't know if it's someone in the backroom staff being superstitious or whether the rates are better, but um, we are at a different hotel, although we've not been there yet. But no, it's it's a fairly different group. It's been a couple of years since we were here, but um, yeah, we've, I think it feels like a bit of a bonus because of the way the group stages went. Um, you know, we've, we've, we feel like we've got nothing to lose tomorrow. Um, you know, continue. It's a shame there's been such a big gap between the group stages and then the quarterfinal. But as I say, continue that momentum. It's it's obviously a different format to what we've been playing. But um, yeah, just go into it. Nothing to lose. As I say, we've got a mix of young guys and old guys. So um, yeah, just hopefully, you know, the guys enjoy themselves and, and go out there and show everyone what they can do. Um, I, as for you personally, you're obviously on a bit of a winning streak in short form comps. I think Big Bash 100 and then even played a bit in the PSL. Is, is there a secret behind them? Just a coincidence? What's the what's the story? Um, no, I don't, I don't think there's a secret. Um, no, I think you just once, yeah, depend. If you get a good team spirit going, you obviously need some good players in there as well. But um, yeah, I think in all those teams, the spirit of the group plays a massive part as well as having, you know, high quality players. So that's certainly one thing at the minute we've got in our dressing room is a, a great belief and character that we can win from any position. Um, so that's probably, you know, aside, to, aside from actual skills, that belief and everything and character in the dressing room plays a massive part, I think, particularly in, in days like tomorrow. So hopefully that, that plays a good part for us. And just last one from me, um, obviously, uh, I'm sure you're pleased to be named as a, a travelling reserve for the T20 World Cup. Um, I think last week was a um, little while since your first, T20, since your last T20 game for England, I should say. So what was the sort of emotion around that? Yeah, I um, can't say I necessarily really expected it, but um, no, delighted to be be a part of it. It's obviously, you know, not the, not the 15, but I definitely didn't expect to be a part of that. So, um, you know, to be... Travelling and I guess part of the squad, kind of. Um, yeah, it will be good fun. Uh, really looking forward to it. Great. Cheers. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Thanks, Matt. Paul, we've got three minutes because we're on my account, basically. So I've given you sure, three sure. and a half minutes, mate. Right? I'll go quickly. Hi, James. Just to, to ask you, you're obviously challenging on two fronts. Um, and Essex won the T20 and Championship double in 2019. How difficult is it to switch from one to the other, you know, when you're in this sort of situation? Um, yeah, I think the, in the build-up, we've obviously, you know, not been, or the guys have been playing all formats, haven't been practising white ball, but, um, yeah, we've we've had a decent practice when we eventually arrived today. I don't think it's that easy, but there is quite a few guys that only sort of play white ball, so um, those guys have, you know, been able to get all their practice in as normal. Um, for the guys jumping formats, it's, tomorrow's much about, you know, assessing the game and taking it all in and, you know, riding the pressure points in the game and all that sort of stuff. So, um, yeah, it's not necessarily that easy, but I think it's, you know, more a mental switch as much as anything. And how exciting is it to have tomorrow and then have Liverpool next week? They're obviously very different stages, aren't they? But uh, how exciting is it this next week ahead for you guys? Yeah, it's amazing to be in contention with two trophies at this time of the year. I know it gets to mid-late September and if you're not playing for much, 
the season just feels like it's dragging on. So um, certainly being able to play for stuff um, has been great in the last few weeks and have this day to look forward to. I think tomorrow's it's always an amazing place to play. I think the atmosphere here is, I think, one of the best in the country, if not the best. So, um, yeah, really looking forward to getting out there tomorrow, hopefully for for two games and having a you know crack at winning it in the final in the evening in front of a, a rowdy crowd. Um, and then Liverpool, obviously, it's, you know, uncharted territory for our squad. We've never really, never been in the hunt um, in terms of winning a, the championship so that's a massive week ahead definitely in the back of my mind but trying to just put all my attention into tomorrow for now sure yeah sorry to ask you about that but yeah obviously you're a veteran of finals day but that's uh, that is new territory isn't it 73 since you won a championship i think yeah a uh, long time ago but it's yeah i think we've again ac- across all formats we we found a way of winning and that's we hung on a few weeks ago against yorkshire in that in the red bull stuff and then Came here and, and beat Warwickshire in a, a fairly strange game with being bowled out, I think, at lunch on day one and found a way to win and then, a, you know, a decent win against Knotts last week. So um, we've we've done all we can. We've put ourselves in a position where we're top going into the last round and hopefully we can find one more big push from a few tired bodies to um, achieve something that would be pretty special. And finally, how much did that 100 for England mean to you uh, earlier this season? Yeah, it was. I enjoyed it. Um, I think the the crowd, as much as anything, got me going. Um, obviously, the, I didn't expect the opportunity, um, you know, in the week prior to those games. But I, yeah, that was a, a really enjoyable week, and that moment in particular was um, one that I really enjoyed. Obviously, feeling like it, it should have maybe happened sooner. Did you fear it would never happen? Um, not fear it because I I didn't necessarily think I'd get another chance. So it was. It, yeah, it was just a, a bonus, really. But then, yeah, the, when it came, it was it was 